power by Ecotech. Hello guys, Victor here with Worldwide Corals. As you guys can see behind me, we're in beautiful Southern California. You guys are wondering, what am I doing here? It's a different coast where normally in Florida, right? We're shopping for corals. We're here to do Rifapalooza this weekend in California. And if you guys remember back, the third one is Cole Walliser came to visit us a few months back and he ended up hiring us to do a custom tank for him. So that's the reason why we're here today and we're gonna be heading over to his house now. So follow me along for this build. truck downstairs uh-huh as you guys remember a few months back Cole, you made it into a store i did i did uh i was inspired by everything i saw and i was like victor you gotta make me the same quality tank the same build i want what you have in your store in my living room it's been months and i'm so excited because the day's finally here yeah because i remember you came to the store and you say this is the tank that i want to want you don't want that tank we gotta <laughs> if we're gonna put a tank together for you it's gotta be a custom tank so we have it downstairs oh why don't you head downstairs with us let's go grab it there's gonna be a little bit of Craziness! I just saw your stairs. <laughs> yeah, I'm a yeah my stressed. apologies. I live I'm on the second floor I'm a little bit stressed about bringing this tank up. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll see what happens. Let's All right, go. let's do it. For me, it was always a concern about the rockscape because it's like that makes such the aesthetic and like not that I didn't trust you, you, but it's like the the artist in me is like I want to make sure it's perfect, right? So, but I didn't, you know, I I have no idea what you've done. You just said trust me, trust me, trust me. So I'm sure I'll be happy, but I have no idea what's actually going in the tank right now. All right, so check this out. When you told me that, I say I gotta take this, I gotta kick it up a notch. Okay. So I called my friend Joe Caparata mm -hmm. from Marco Rocks. Mm -hmm. And I said, listen, I got this crazy installation and we gotta wow this guy. So to make the story short, they just delivered the rocks. You cannot see them yet, uh -huh. but I got a picture. Okay. So this is the first time that you lay your eyes on yeah. this. Yeah, I'm very Are excited. Are you ready? I am very excited. This is oh, from the side. Dude, dude, that is so sick. That is so sick. Hell yeah. That's amazing. That's like exactly what I wanted. That is, that dude. is amazing. Look dude, that me. is gonna be, oh, I mean, you killed it. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Well done. Look at that beauty, guys. Can you guys see that? That's amazing. Now the question is, can you remember how to put it together? But we'll, we'll, we'll figure we do, that out. We do, we do. It's actually, Kim, it's uh, one big piece. Okay. And that's what we're gonna send. We're gonna put it together. It's gonna look beautiful. We're gonna show you guys as soon as we're done. Thank you, Marco Rocks. <laughs> Cole met Luna Sump at Rifa Palooza Orlando and chose them due to their expertise in building custom sumps with a slick design. This sump has almost all the options including an interchangeable chamber for the roller mat or micron socks, proven heater holders, an adjustable skimmer section, and a matching ATO reservoir. 
Robert Luna Reef always come through for us with the best looking and highest quality sump and ATOs that you can get your hands on. So for the lighting, we decided to go with Ecotec 3G6 XR30 Blues. The reason why we went with the blue, we love the pop, the extra pop that they create for the corals and your reef. For the flow, we also use Ecotec. We use four MP40 power heads because they can move volumes of water from one side of the tank to the other side. And the wires are on the outside of the tank for a clean look. We went with the Vectra pump from Ecotec Marine. They're controllable, they're great pumps. They've been around for many years. Uh, we use them for the UV sterilizer, for the manifold, and for the return pump. Uh, all of these devices can be controlled through a Movius app. We've been using it for a couple years now. Movius is fantastic. Okay, so we got a box here. The question is, how are we mounting the controller to the tank? And I think I have a little bit of a present from Adaptive Reef, which are uh, my fellow Canadian buddies here. So we're gonna open this box and have a look at what this is. I, I feel like it's not gonna be just a boring board that stuff plugs into. Um, so let's, let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, did we open this upside down? I think we did. But let's have a look-see. Hell yeah. We got my G-Wagon up here. This is amazing. Dude, that is so sick. Heck yeah. Thank you, Adaptive Reef. They put the kook truck on here. That is amazing. Yo, this is sick. This is gonna be, obviously, it's gonna be perfect. Designed for the tank and all the gear. Amazing. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is cool. Hey Cole, how's it going? What's up, man? My name's Paul, I'm from Neptune Systems. A pleasure, a pleasure. Nice to meet you. You too. So I'll give you just a little bit of rundown, right? This here is your Apex base unit, mm -hmm. okay? This is the 25th anniversary edition, okay. right? You'll yep. notice that it has the oh. 25th anniversary yeah. badging. This is essentially the brain of your system. Yep. This is where all your probes are gonna connect and mm -hmm. things like that. In the A3 Pro, we added some more features, okay. right? Those features are specifically the FMM ports, mm -hmm. okay? These are our fluid monitoring module ports. Oh. Okay. They allow for additional water accessories uh, that are included with the system. Okay. Then we have probably, for me, the thing that I get most excited about, uh -huh. right, is the Energy Bar 832. Yep. Okay. The Energy Bar 832 is your power source for the system. Mm -hmm. It's where all the different devices that you plug in to run an aquarium mm -hmm. are going to power it on from this device. Okay. Okay. You see it has all the outlets. Yeah. Yeah. Those outlets are going to turn on and off mm -hmm. based on conditions that are happening in the aquarium. Mm -hmm. For example, it gets too hot here in your apartment, mm -hmm. you're gonna have a fan that probably turns yeah. on to do evaporative cooling, mm -hmm. right? One of the great things about these outlets though is they are power monitored, okay? okay? What does that mean? What uh, do you think it means? Well, I, I kind of remember, I, I, I guess it tells how much power you're using. Yes. Which I noticed be, you had a power monitoring device just for your AC over there. I, I was do. like, this guy is going to love this. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I am. I definitely am going to take the power monitoring device and throw it on the tank at first to see. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want to know, but I also i am like one of those people that like, I need to know. I'll touch on that in a what second. What it is. The benefit of monitoring power uh -huh. on, of devices in your aquarium is a lot of times you're not there. Mm -hmm. Something says it's on, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. only way that you truly know that it's on and working appropriately is that it's pulling a consistent level of power. Okay, sure. So here, when we set everything up, yeah. right, you're gonna see like, oh, all this stuff is working. Yeah. Our system immediately is gonna start monitoring the power on those. Okay. After a couple days, you're gonna say, you know what? Send me alert notifications if it's not doing what it's supposed to do, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so, if your return pump is always supposed to pull 90 watts, uh -huh. and suddenly it starts pulling 50 watts, uh -huh. that something's not right. Okay. We'll send you notification that your return pump is not working appropriately. Sure, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Then we have the probes. Mm -hmm. In this system, we're gonna monitor your temperature. Mm -hmm. We're gonna monitor your pH. Mm -hmm. P you wanna monitor pH to understand what the chemical yeah. uh, makeup is of the water. Yeah. If something isn't going right, pH will tell you that. Mm -hmm. ORP, in between water changes, what will happen with ORP, it'll slope down, right? Oh, okay. It'll slowly go down over time. You do that water change, 
it's going to go back up again oh, wow. in terms of its daily average. Okay, sure, so yeah. without even looking at the aquarium, you can know by monitoring ORP what the water cleanliness is. Mm. That's really interesting because, yeah, if you go away and someone's taking care of the tank, it's like even if something bad happens, like pH might not really change that yeah. much, temperature is not going to change that much, but then ORP is going to be doing something where you can then, it'll cool you in it like, just is a, it out. It's a visual representation. It's a trend, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 the yeah. number does not matter, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you establish what average is, that's all that matters, okay. you know? Um, then what's really cool, mm -hmm. I mentioned those FMM ports, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So those FMM ports allow us to add water accessories, yeah. okay? One of those water accessories is what we call a liquid level sensor. Okay. It's new to the aquarium industry in the uh -huh. sense this is the first uh, liquid level sensor that will monitor the level of inches in the vessel that it's placed in. Oh, wow, okay. Right? Uh -huh. So in your sump, we'll have basically two options to place it. We'll either put uh -huh. it in the return pump section, uh -huh. right? Monitoring to make sure that water level in the return pump stays constant. Mm -hmm. If it were to suddenly go down, bad things suddenly go up, bad thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, just if you were to, were to forget the ATO reservoir for some matter, mm -hmm. right? You would see evaporation start to happen in that oh, return totally. pump section yeah, 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 yeah. go dry. So, the one of the most um, sought after products in 2019, mm -hmm. 2020, was our Neptune Systems Trident. Yeah. This was one of the first products, or one of the products that, that did a reagent-based testing method mm -hmm. to test your alkalinity, calcium and magnesium, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. Keeping your alkalinity, your calcium and magnesium all at consistent values, mm -hmm. corals will thrive yeah. in those conditions. So you'll know what your alkalinity is all the time. Mm -hmm. You'll know that you want to maintain that at basically Not just every like three weeks? Yeah, exactly. Wanted to test like every last three time. <laughs> weeks when you maybe wanted to test it, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. At a certain time of day, which actually it fluctuates totally. all throughout the day. Yeah. You pair that with the Neptune Systems dose, which mm -hmm. we have over here, mm -hmm. you're going to have one dose that is going to do a two-part system, alkalinity and calcium. Yeah. It's going to be tied in with the trident. Oh, wow, so okay. when your rate of growth or consumption uh -huh. is starting to go up and yeah. we start to see alkalinity go down, uh -huh. we're going to turn alkalinity up for you. Yeah, and that's not just too much. automated. It'll, automated, that's yeah. Amazing. It's not too much. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Just, it's like cruise control. Yeah. So this tank, you know, once we get it set up, yeah. I mean, they're going to be on autopilot, man. Oh, man. In like the best way possible. I, I, I love it. It's, I'm excited to play with all this stuff. And you like gadgets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is definitely satisfying my, my gadget need mm -hmm. right here. Exactly. It's going to be easy to set up, easy to use. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. All I right. am so excited. Thank Dude, you, Cole. We'll get into installing this. Let's do it. And then we'll show you how it works. Absolutely. Okay. Aquariums build Cole's custom Peninsula Reef glass aquarium, as well as a custom metal stand finish with an elegance wrap and drip tray. The dimensions of the tank are 60 by 30 by 24, which is wide enough to allow for a stunning aquascape. Okay guys, as you guys can see, we're still setting up the tank behind us. It's been two long days. What do you think, Cole? It's, I, my mind is blown. I mean, the tank is amazing. The setup is amazing. The build is amazing. You know, it's your first WWC uh, tank in Hollywood. So I figure we have to kind of celebrate in a good way, I we feel do. like. I think we need to celebrate a little bit. Got? Fancy. With the best of the best. We got a little Dom Perignon oh, wow. uh, for yourself there and everybody uh, that came along. So oh, this, is wow. how, this is how we got to do it if you're in Hollywood. Oh, 
Hey. Woo! Oh, wow. All right. Cheers, my friend. Thank Cheers. you for everything. I'm so happy and excited. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Amazing. What a, what a great ending to the start of an amazing project, huh? Cheers again. Cheers, my friend. For a beautiful tank. Yes, sir. Yeah. See you guys soon.